Welcome back to Awesome News TV and today we're going to talk about Bukayo Saka's performance versus Brighton and I thought he was one of the better performers when compared to the other performers in the squad such as the likes of other top name players but the two Haylanders in this particular Emil Smithrow and Bukayo Saka in particular were the two players that actually stood out for me in the whole game. I thought overall in terms of Bukayo Saka I think we have a player that we should be very grateful of having because he is able to take on two three four players. I even remember at the start, at the first two, first 30 seconds or so, when Bukayo Saka was getting past like six players, and Saka nearly scored that moment as well. And it could have been a whole game, a different complexion, a different opportunity, and a different chance for Arsenal to really capitalise on a situation. But unfortunately, Arsenal ended up with that draw and pretty much were even lucky at some moments to even get an opportunity to get that. Um, draw in the first place because even though Brighton did look like they wanted to press, they looked like they wanted to score, there were moments where Arsenal could have done a lot more better in terms of attacking and the only person that looked like he wanted to create a spot for Arsenal was in the form of Bukayo Saka. He's the only player that looked like he wanted to make a difference. He's the only player that wanted to try and create something out of nothing and he was a player that the players such as Kukurea, so players such as um, Duffy, players such as... Um, um, that um, like, um, Lewis Dunk were fearing of and when it comes to Bukayo Saka we do have a top level player and I think with the two years left on his contract I am really worried if he would want to stay at Arsenal he wants to carry, continue playing for England he's got those England call-ups that um, um, has been something that has shown that his quality has been amazing and when it comes to Bukayo Saka Okay, hopefully that injury isn't that bad as we hope. Hopefully it isn't because we want him to still see him thrive in the games versus the likes of um, and the teams that he will face when he will play for England. But when it comes to Arsenal, they have a big concern because we are struggling to score goals. Even though we had that emphatic win versus the likes of um, Spurs because Spurs were poor. And in terms of Brighton, even though they're higher up the table, but we, I think we gave them too much possession. I think if we took the game to them, we had a great opportunity. This is definitely McClaw's set of decision. He's the one that made this decision to play this way. And hopefully it's a decision that hopefully doesn't haunt us in terms of the fact that we are more dominant and hopefully see more better performances from Bukayo Saka. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal performs at the end of the season. If you want to see more daily videos from Awesome News TV, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the like button so I know if you enjoyed the video and share the video to your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the videos on the screen and I'll see you there.